Okay, so in this next section, I have lost about seven minutes of footage and I have lost the seven minutes of audio. I really should stop deleting files before I check uh, whether they are complete or not. Um, but yeah, apparently the file that I rendered was a little bit corrupted. So there are seven minutes of footage gone. And since I, at this point of recording, I've already finished the whole um, the whole book really a uh, whole book 11 ideal playthrough so i have about seven minutes footage lost that i don't think i can recover under normal circumstances i will have to play for hours to get back to seven chapter and do this again but so what you missed out on is essentially i hit the dragon with the big spells which i did in my main playthrough as well so I, the next seven minutes is nothing too essential that you missed. It's just unfortunate that I missed that. So you can, if you look at my main playthrough, I hit the dragon with the big spells and the description of those big spell is exactly the same. So it's the same content from there. So you're not actually missing out on anything. Uh, I just decided to, a good thing that I decided to read that section again because I thought it looked cool the big spells and everything so if you really want to recap on that just go look at the main playthrough where in chapter 7 I hit the dragon with the big spells uh, and it's essentially the same thing so thankfully uh, we have not missed out anything so this is after that because I did not record after that so just after that fight with the dragon after the Aiden fight ends here's the rest of the footage here we are in chapter 7 this is after uh, you know Kate realizes we are Lasethi uh, through her own uh, beliefs like how her magic power is weak and whatnot and uh, when she realizes that she was like oh maybe he is related to uh, the Lasethi that kidnapped her uh, tortured her or kidnapped like uh, her friend Diane and whatnot you know the story you have seen the main storyline that I've uh, done before and uh, yeah so we are getting into where she's holding a knife to her throat and uh, she's saying that if you make any noise you're gonna st slit our throat and whatnot so if you wanted to borrow some money from me you could have just asked nicely is what we are going to pick if you wanted to borrow some money from me, you could just ask nicely. Shut up, Kate shouts at me, her eyes burning with rage. I've had it with your jokes and with the way you always like to tread on thin ice, even when your life is on the line. Are you incapable of comprehending the situation you're in right now? Well, it's kind of hard since you never actually told me what... Where is Diane? What have you done with her? Tell me. Her question caught me completely by surprise. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who is Diane? Damn you, Kate shouts furiously at me while tears are starting to form in her eyes. Damn you to hell, I trusted you. Both you and Rose, was this all part of your plan to recapture me? Were you trying to get close to me so that you could ca catch me off guard? Is Rose working with you too? What? No, listen to me. Where are the other Lasethi? Are they waiting in ambush? Uh... Waiting to ambush me as we speak? Are they just waiting for your signal? She thinks I'm a Lasethi? The dragon race that built the dragon trap? What's wrong with her? She doesn't make any sense. Damn it, Kate. I don't know what's gotten into you, but I'm not a Lasethi. Do you think I'll be wasting my time here trying to become a mage if I had the ability to build powerful magical traps and devices? So yeah, Lasethi can't use magic. They just have very much so magical knowledge, I suppose. That's why they're just able to build traps that can't really use magic. Maybe. I'm not 100% on that. You're lying. Kate's yelled, Kate yells at me. You are lying through your teeth. Human could not survive with such a weak magical aura. There is no other race that looks exactly like humans and possesses so little magical energy. Even if I'm somehow a Lasethi, that doesn't deny the fact that I've been raised by humans and have never met these guys who captured you. Does this have any? Uh, does this have something to do with the beacon of hope? I'm not working with any of them. Please trust me on this. Why? She screams while a tear slides down her face. Why should I trust you? What makes you any different from the rest of them why should i believe that you won't simply betray me like everyone else i've ever met in my life i don't remember what i picked last time because it's been months but i am I'm, whatever it is whatever i picked i hope i didn't pick i am in love with you because that's kind of cringe um i'm gonna instead pick uh because i helped you when you were attacked by the crossbowmen because I helped you when you were attacked by the crossbowmen this morning. If I wanted to, you either dead or captured, that would have been the best time for me to seize the opportunity. Kate is looking like she may be taking, by, taking my words into consideration, although there is still doubt in her eyes. Suddenly there's a sound coming from my pocket, and, it's, and this time it's not my so uh, strat device. Barry, are you okay? Uh, says Darren through the magical receiver. Why would you speak through there, just in case we get caught or something? Are you still there? 
I tap the device with my left hand in order to activate it and answer him. Yes, Dylan, I'm fine. I'm just having a longer conversation with Kate. I'll let you know when we're done. Okay, then. I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, j just was starting to get worried, that's all. Take your time. What was that? Kate asked me as I turn off the receiver. It's funny, she's still holding a dagger at my throat as she speaks to me. But I find myself to be unusually calm about all of this. Of course you are. You have already have a handle on the situation. When you understand the person you're facing completely, I mean, maybe not 100% completely, but very, very fairly much so. Uh, you understand her and you understand the various things that she can possibly do in the situation. Of course you're calm because you know you're not gonna get killed in this situation. Um... What was I? I wonder if it's because of everything I've been through since I joined this tournament. That was a device that Darren gave me uh, to communicate with him in case of an emergency. I tell her, What? No, that can't be right. We never talked about that this during our strategy meeting. Why wouldn't he have also given me a device like this if it's uh, for emergencies? That's because Darren doesn't trust you. But you said, I'm sorry, kid. I was afraid that you wouldn't believe me if I told you the truth. Uh, the fact of the matter is, I'm the one that convinced Darren to not perform the purification ritual on you when we first met. No, you're lying. Am I? Aren't you the one who said that Darren uh, never looked at you as if you were a human being? Uh, Kate hesitates. What would you of all people? It's because of my sister. She turned into a banshee a long time ago. That's how I knew you were different. Do you really believe, do you really believe me? To, uh, you really expect me to believe? Why can't I read? She stops uh, when she sees the look on my face. She must have realized I'm being serious this time around. I've already read all this. I completely remember this. She get bitten. She has magical power. Everyone in the village is like, oh, she's a mage or whatnot. And then he transforms into a, a banshee and kills everyone. And then he kills her with a pitchfork. Kills the family. And then he kills her with a pitchfork before she can properly manifest her banshee powers and uh, kill the rest of the village or something like that. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, the next choice is not written here. Disagree with, yeah, yeah, that's a different choice. So the, uh, the next choice is right here that where she asks uh, is like, uh, is this fine? Are you like, she's just essentially saying like, no, I don't. She answers me. I'm really sorry for everything. She's just saying sorry because she held a dagger to her throat or whatnot. So you can go two ways. I like to do this one. There is no need to apologize because it's, it's kind of funny to me. Uh, and then she just gets uh, mad. I don't remember if I read this before, but I'll just uh, recap this uh, because she gets like, I was about to murder in cold blood and you shouldn't be, you should be mad at me. You shouldn't brush it off. But like, I'm like, eh, whatever, it's fine. I don't care. Are you friends or whatnot? And we have, we are friends. And uh, she's just like, she's shocked. And like, how could you say that when I'm doing all this and dangerous and whatnot? So what, how would you be traveling with me any more dangerous than having to fight a still water and a dragon in the same day? At least you're coming with us. I'll feel safer knowing that you're watching my back. Kate pauses and looks at me hesitantly. Uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Who, all of that we already know about all of that um the the next one is does this have anything to do with the beacon of hope can you tell me exactly who this lasethi lasethi are i know about the lasethi and i know about the beacon of hope if you don't know go watch the main series we have already discussed all of this so it doesn't really matter here's another choice that doesn't really matter which is i'm not gonna call her a reject what happened to the other rejects let's not uh, go into that that sounds kind of rude so i'm just gonna go i'm sorry it doesn't really matter you've already seen all this apparently this is not an important choice but even though it sounds like it is to me but uh, this is the where he's like what are you gonna tell darren when we get back um while we're going back with kate and uh, I'm, you have an option to tell him the truth and I'm, there is an option to not tell him the truth considering he already doesn't trust her very much. So I'm not going to tell her, tell him the truth because I know he's just going to get more and more weary and untrust, uh, untrusting of Kate. Which normally would be a good thing. You shouldn't be trusting of a lot of people anyway. But still, I'm not going to tell him anything. Uh, I'm not going to tell him anything. Darren doesn't uh, know that you attacked me, remember? Uh, Kate looks as if a weight has been lifted off a chip. Thank you. She says simply and we walk the rest of the way in silence. Yeah, it's the same thing. So the question, uh, there's, here's another choice. This is for when we first see Hardrick and they're discussing whether it's an illusion or he's using a transfiguration spell to make himself look like a giant. Which we later find out that his actual form is a giant but he's acting like a... What is it called? Uh, he's acting like a fuck. What is it called? Um, a dwarf, you're right. So disagree with both. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know to remember what I picked last time, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it, read this out. I'm sorry to say, but I don't really agree with any of you. I tell them what Darren and Kate simultaneously turns towards me. Kate write about the fundamental laws of shape shifting. I continue, but an imp uh, an illusion spell would be just as improbable. There are no illusion spells that can reach this far, no matter how powerful or skilled you are as a mage. There must be something we're missing here. But it doesn't matter either way. Kate says it's obviously a trap. I honestly can't imagine how anyone can be stupid enough to fall for something like this. I think we have seen everything else.